Today is an exciting day, and I hope you share in my excitement. Hi, I'm Rocky Nichols, and this is Funny Guy Food Reviews. The other day I was at the supermarket, and I glanced at something that caught my attention. These right here. Now, I first thought that was a really high-quality photograph on the label of the can, as it sat there in the stack. Upon further inspection, I saw the little bubble in there moving around, which indicated to me that this actually was a window into the can. Hmm, very interesting. This Polar brand sardine is now packaging them in a round can with a plastic lid and a pull top. Very interesting, really eye-catching. Also, it could be rather dangerous if a child happened to drop this or poke his finger or something into it. The car would smell like sardines for quite a long time. So they're taking a little bit of a risk. But this sure is eye-catching and interesting. Now let's look at the outside of the can, which is, again, polar sardines. Bristling, which is a type of fish. Now it also says polar innovation since 1976. This proves it. This is an innovative way of packaging sardines and getting people to buy them. Naturally rich in omega-3s, like all oily fish are. Wild caught, like all sardines, wood smoked, like just a few, and hand packed, like all sardines. But I like to think of the wood smoked here. What do they really use to smoke it with? Is it nice hardwood that they cut down in the forest and kiln dried it so it gave lots of nice smoke off? Or do they just go behind some factory, pull out a bunch of old skids with oil dripped all over them, and burn those? Maybe even a few cardboard boxes just to get rid of them. Don't know. We'll have to inspect that later. Now these do look strangely like the Latvian Sprats that I tried last year that were one of the best ever. They came in a glass jar and it looked just like those. Hmm. Upon further inspection, product of Latvia. Maybe the same fishermen out there. Let's look at the ingredients, always of interest. Smoked bristling sardines. Refined olive oil. Salt. Warning here, contains fish. Love that one. Product, ready to use. Refrigerate after opening, if you really want that kind of smell in your refrigerator. Store in a cool, dry place. Product of Latvia. Wild caught in highlighted blue font. And distributed by M.W. Polar Foods, Norwalk, California. Hmm, okay. Percent daily values are based on 2,000 calorie diet. We won't go into all those, but a few of the nutritional facts is 2 ounces in this can, 120 calories per serving. How many servings we got here? One and a half servings. All right, so you're going to eat one and a half times out of here or feed one and a half people? Or does that mean you feed one big person and one half a size person? That's always interesting, too. Warning with a big yellow exclamation mark. Warning, cancer and reproductive harm. I don't know that I've encountered that kind of a warning on a sardine can. Is that a warning to me or a warning to the fish? Because obviously reproduction is going to be difficult at this point. Cancer, however, is really not of their concern. But I'm wondering. I guess that's ground for another video because I don't know right now and I'm not going to put it on this tape. So we'll just proceed cautiously in this interesting new container. The usual precautions... Throw away paper plates, my favorite substrate. Saltine crackers, because they are neutral and don't add or detract from the flavor of fish. Exorbitant towels, in case you have a disastrous spill. And the plastic bag to wrap it all up and throw it away or dispose of it appropriately. And of course, a plastic tool. Now I'm going to use a separate paper plate to open this up because I don't know what to expect. Usually, you grab the pole top and you cantilever your hand and use it as a pry bar. But this is going to be a first time effort. Let's see how it goes. Just pulling carefully. Oh, kind of pops right off there. 
very easily opens up. Hmm. I like it. Whew. Nothing like the smell of fresh, freshly opened, wood smoked sardines. I'm going to say those are smoked with old Christmas trees because it is after Christmas. Just for fun. And they're all nice and neatly packed. I will point that out too. It's always impressive when they are in nice, even rows like this. So we'll put the tool under one. Carefully lift it out. Wow. Those are nicely shaped. The whole tail and everything, they're not smashed or deformed. Those are pretty nice looking fish. And I'm going to load it up with the second one. And it appears that they are fully loaded with entrails. They've got all their fins. The only thing they're missing is a head, which I really prefer that they don't leave on there. And I always got to smell them. I don't know why. But this way, this, this one is overpoweringly wood smelling, underpoweringly fish smelling. That's probably a good thing. See if I can fit it in now. Very good. Not as strong as the Latvian Sprats. So I'm not sure what's different there. The Latvian Sprats had this blast of rich, fish oily, wood smoked flavor. These don't have that blast of rich flavor. They do have the wood smoke flavor, but they're not as strong as the Sprats. But a sprat apparently is a different fish than a bristling. And maybe that's the difference. Because these are definitely look more like the traditional sardine size and shape than the sprats. The sprats were about half this length. They were really tiny and compact. But here's something else interesting. The second layer under there crisscrosses the first layer. And it seems like this is not a heavy oil that's in here. More of wa uh, spring water. Well, let's try another one. Come on out of there. There we go. We'll put both tails in the same direction. they're definitely good definitely worth it because they're only like a buck and a half for this one and a half serving sized container i'm kind of thinking there's probably two conservative servings in here you each get one layer yeah these are really good though these are really good i'd have to say they're right there in the running with king oscar sardines Excellent flavor, consistent texture, easy opening can, no mess, no fuss. They look good, they smell good, they taste good. Mm. The only thing that bothers me is that cancer and reproductive warning. I'll have to look into that. But as far as I'm concerned, these are a real winner. And I suggest you give them a try. Polar sardines with the see-through lid. Excellent. Thanks for watching.